This week on Twende, we are taking you to the floor of the Rift Valley. Did you know one of Kenya's most recent volcanic eruptions? We take you to Olo... Olo... Butot. We take you to Olo Butot and learn what happened there. That's up in next to a lava field. No na vile kuna maze field. Hapa ni lava field. Mao as it grow, mao as it shall grow, so as it go up. We get to show you how energy is harnessed from steam. They are using it to generate electricity. Welcome to Africa's largest geothermal plant. Steam, steam, panda! Steam, steam, panda, panda! This is Hell's Gate National Park, one of the smallest in Kenya, but home to the eighth largest geothermal plant in the world. This side, which we visited last time, is patrolled by wildlife. Beyond this are these huge structures where what appears to be smoke puffs up into the air. These are the stations that produce power using fuel from deep within the Earth's crust. Olkaria is a high-temperature geothermal system located within the central sector of the Kenya Rift Valley. The geology is dominated by Pleistocene, Holocene, Comenditic, Rhyolite flows on the surface and basalts, trachytes and tuffs in the subsurface. Hey, We wanted to please the geologists now to engineering, lakini nikiendela hivi, eh, sinitajiuma ulimi. Geo is earth and thermal is heat. So geothermal means the earth's heat. Estimated to about 5,500 degrees centigrade at the earth's core. Or just about as hot as the surface of the sun. Engineer Karengede, yeah. what is this? Now I took it to silver. Yeah. What is happening here? This is a geothermal production well. Yeah. Uh, a geothermal production well. Yeah. Ni kama vile unaweza kuwa na pressure cooker. Yeah. Unapika gideri. Gideri. Yeah. So uko na bana mm -hmm. chini mm -hmm. alafu ya pot yeah. ya pressure cooker yeah. pot. Yeah. Na dani umeweka maji yeah. na nyama. Yeah. Na umefuni na eh yeah. na umefunika. Yeah. Sasa hiyo kifuniko yeah. ukitoa yeah. hiyo maji na steam yeah. itaenda kwa sidi na hata soup yeah. itaenda kwa sidi yeah. <laughs> sasa it is exactly the same in mm. a geothermal system yes, yeah. so hiyo maji na steam inakuja ikifika hapa tunaielekeza kwa ile kanyungu hiyo yeah. kanyungu tunaita separator yeah. ni ya separate maji, maji na, na steam, steam. Yeah. 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 kwa sababu yeah. ile mtabo tuko nayo the turbine itself yeah. inatumia steam which is 99.99% dry. Ni maji na chemsho uko chini ya maji and the steam is used to drive the turbines which then produce electricity. How did this place come to be known as Olkaria? The name comes from something that is found here in plenty. You see it on the screen, but it's not what you are thinking. You probably went for the steam because it is in plenty, right? But if you look harder, you'll see the ground is red. And this is no ordinary soil. Tunatafuta hiyo red oka. Kwa sababu, hapa ukikuta, kuna zile ambayo siyo special. Imekuwa ni kama mchanga hapa. Olkari has something to do with the earth and Lashish wants to demonstrate a process for me which needs water. But where do we get water in this dry land? We will use the steam. There is this cylindrical device that has a physical process taking place. Kwa wale school fees yenyu haikunywa maji, najua kuna process ya kubadilisha steam iwe maji. This is the condensation process that helps the community around get clean drinking water for the people and the animals. Before Lashish can teach me about Olkaria, I am about to get a physics lesson of my own. Imagine a motor. Mm. Mm. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> It's okay. Ata ikuwa moto vile. Ochre is a natural clay earth pigment that is a mixture of iron oxide, clay and sand. The red one is called Olkaria. Yeah. In Kenya, this natural earthly pigment that is closely associated with the Maasai is found only in this area. The ochre is applied on the face and on the hair by the Ma communities that include the Maasai, Samburu and Ichamus during their various traditional ceremonies. The Olkaria used all over the country is sourced from here. So to Mejua where Olkaria came from, how is it that Kenya is blessed with so much geothermal potential? It started eons ago. The Rift Valley is an intracontinental ridge that runs from the north to the south. The floor is broken by volcanoes, some still active, and contains a series of lakes. The beautiful scenery aside, this is a vital resource that holds the key to the region's energy needs. Nature has dug up part of the earth for us and making it easier to access the geothermal resources underground. That is what some visionaries saw and started exploration in the 1940s. In 1956, the first geothermal wells were dug but they had more water than steam and didn't work well. But the pioneers wanted to make waves. They did not give up. And today at Olkaria, the geologists are very good at finding the right spots. What's happening here? So there's steam here because yeah. Yeah. it means yeah. you're close to the heat. Yeah. The heat that is uh, from magma mm -hmm. close to the surface. Yeah. And what it is doing, yeah. it is heating up the groundwater yeah. and coming out from the from the subsurface yeah. as steam as steam yes so what is happening here where you have this high heat yeah. that there are some plants that thrive yeah. in that environment yes. and they actually like it mm. so for example you can see this moss yeah. you see it is not here for example yeah. it is right here yeah. so it wants to grow where there is the high heat yeah the high heat and again we also have another special type of plant yeah. called the geothermal grass yeah. this one that looks spiky. Yeah. This grass, what we have noticed when we have studied the field, it only grows yeah. where you have um, heat mm. close to the surface. Yeah. So wherever you have some heat, yeah. you find the geothermal grass. And it's a good indicator for yeah. us yeah. in science when we're going to do other yeah. uh, measurements. Yeah. When we see it, we're like, ah, okay, very so good. Apart kuna kakitu. Kuna kitu. Yeah. <laughs> and then, is it, okay, so we are inhaling this gas. Yes. Is it safe? I'm say we now just want to take another wheel here. So here, yeah. majority of whatever is coming out from this femoral yeah. is just water. Yeah. So steam. When yeah. you boil water in a pot, yeah. if you go put your face in there, you're yeah. going to have steam yeah. come to your or face. Or a burnt face. Or, or a burnt face yeah. if you're very close. <laughs> so basically, that is what is coming yeah, out from the ground. Yeah, it's just water. Tafadali, let us be clear. Geothermal grass does not bring geothermal activity. <laughs> it is vice versa. So sifikiati ukipanda hii nyasi shamba yako itakuwa na geothermal energy. So what makes this possible here here in Olkaria? The so, steam. Yes. Na hii nyasi na moss. Yes. Yeah. So Olkaria is a volcano. It's a volcanic uh, center. Yeah. So that means that um, there is some magma close to the surface. Mm. And it's 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 the one responsible for this heating up of the yeah. groundwater. Yeah. That that accumulation of the steam, yeah. we're able to drill mm. and get steam at high pressure. Yeah. That is used now to generate yeah. a power plant. Yeah. So what you're seeing here is just an indication yeah. of what is happening Already below. Uh, below. Yes. Yeah. So and if you look at the map, it's yeah. all within the, the East African Rift. The geological activity is still ongoing. 
There are forces from within that are keen to divide this country. So this rift is, yes. has it stopped? Ama sasa ni hivyo tu ama will it continue digging for us It is so, it is a young rift yeah. it is going to continue so it's a divergent rift whereby yeah. it's breaking apart yeah. So this process is going to continue in geological time yeah. scale yeah. we talk about millions of years millions. as like yeah. this morning yeah. you know <laughs> Yes It was no laughing matter on March 2018 when residents of Mai Mahio got a sneak preview of the split from above, the fault in Karima stretches from one end to the other as far as the eye can see. It is deep too. So nature takes years to split a country, but politicians can do it in a flash. So two centimeters. So uh, now there's volcano, the, there's volcanic activity underneath, mm -hmm. obviously, yes. and the rift continues to grow uh, apart every year. Mm -hmm. So is there a risk of uh, this place exploding, like a volcano just one day in a semi <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not threatening yeah. to say that this this re these volcanoes right now are going to erupt. Yeah. But we have to keep monitoring yeah, yeah. Uh, to see the activity. Yeah. Because when you see them to that size, yeah. it means there's a volcanic history. For you to be that size, yeah. it means there were eruptions. Yeah. Whatever ashes you're seeing here, yeah. many of them also came from long or not. Okay. But that is in history. Yeah. So it's an active rift, yeah. but it's not as active as the western branch, okay. where you have Goma, which keeps on erupting okay. and uh, exuding uh, lava yeah. that even covers the city of Goma and things wow. like that. So yeah. it is it is imperative that we continue monitoring monitor, yeah. um, for or for for hazards like that. Yeah. Yeah. They okay. may be prone. However, exploiting geothermal for example depressurizes the system. Yeah. For example, yeah. Uh, you you don't expect to have those hydrophreatic reactions yeah. because you you're no, depressurizing the, yes, you're depressurizing yeah. the system yeah. and then you generate power yeah. and because we do it in an environmentally friendly way, yeah. we take back that fluid yeah. back into the yeah. ground to recharge the system yeah. and it comes back again, yeah. generates power back. and back it's and that's cycle. what we call renewable yeah, energy. energy. Okay. Yes. Got it. That is why geothermal is the greenest form of yeah. energy that you can have. That's very interesting. I never thought about it. You are yes. to tower yes. pressure. Muna release yes. Yes. whatever pressure that would probably have mm -hmm. pushed that volcano. Yes. Because sooner. you can keep on accumulating yeah. and being angry all the time yeah, yeah. if you use that yeah, yeah. word. Yes. Kufura. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We haven't seen any eruptions in our lifetime, but that has not always been the case. One of the most recent eruptions in Kenya happened right here in the Olkaria. Ukamka ujipate hapa. Unaweza amini uko Kenya? Wacha hata Kenya. Hapa kuna kani kama dunia nyingine. This is the Ololbutot lava flow. Sasa hapa inaitwa lava field. Unaona vile kuna maize field. Hapa ni lava field. Mawe as grow, mawe zilisha grow sasa ziko hapa. Eventually zita break down zikwe volcanic soil. This is amazing. It feels and looks like an alien planet. But even the earth in Akuanga. Najua mnajiuliza Olol Butot ni wapi? It is within Hell's Gate National Park on the Olkaria side. Kwa wale mnataka kwenda Goma au Hawaii kuona aftermath ya volcano, hakuna haja kwenda mbali. Njoo tu hapa Olkaria. The fault here erupted 180 years ago in the 1840s and measures 5 kilometers cube. Sasa na joa wengine wenyu mnashindwa. Did it really happen all those 180 years ago? Yet, hakuna mtu alipiga picha. And there are no surviving witnesses. And to know that it's a young lava flow, mm. from where we were, mm. how is the vegetation? This is um, barely. 
few. Yeah. So it means that it is that young. But the beautiful thing with volcanic rocks, yeah. they break down very easily. Okay. And that's why we're able to form volcanic soils yeah. very fast. So you can see plant life is coming. It's coming. Ah, oh, so on your it's pioneers. The pioneers. The pioneers were yes, they are the pioneers. Yeah. Death, destruction and suffering aside, the volcano would prove useful to people as it provided tools for them. So these were probably used for tools. Eh, not, we don't use them anymore. Like any bado to not to younger, Kusugua, Kusugua, in a traje, Mugu, now in Guinness, you use it. Yes, you yeah. use it too. <laughs> or even in the toothpaste. When you toothpaste. powder it, yes, when you powder it to yeah. very fine powder, it is also an additive in toothpaste. Okay, start. Mm. <laughs> Kwa wale mnatumia hako kamawe kujisugua mguu, sasa mnajua mahali kanatoka. Sivyo, don't take it for granite. So kuna wale waliona hizi signs zote wakaona, this can be a great location for exploiting cheap energy. Ni vizuri siku wa hizo siku, jumimi ile biashara ningeona hapa, niyo tu ya kuuza mawe ya kusugua mguu. Now that we have an idea why Kenya is ideal for exploiting geothermal power, let us now get back to how this place became the biggest in Africa. Prospecting for geothermal had started in the 1940s and the first wells were dug in the 50s. Then, in the mid-70s, with help from international organizations like the UNDP, British Geological Survey and others, six more wells were drilled. These ones were promising. And in June 1981, 77 years after the world's first geothermal power plant was built in Tuscany, Italy, Naivasha made history in Kenya with the continent's first geothermal plant. This is the Olkaria 1 geothermal plant. Ngawa siku hiyo ilikuwa inaitwa tu Olkaria. The plant produced an average of 15 megawatts which seemed like a science project then. The capacity increased to 45 megawatts by 1986, but the project seemed to fizzle out due to a lack of funding. Then, in 2002, there was an eruption in Nairobi. A new political administration came into power and it was hungry for more power. <laughs> Uh, electric power. They had ambitious plans to turn around the economy and energy was a key requirement. Hydro was the main source of power but was unreliable due to frequent droughts. Also building new dams would need a lot of land and displace many people. Geothermal does not require a lot of land and displaces fewer people. On his first visit to Olkaria in 2003, as president, Kibaki asked what they needed to expand. The government would then allocate 2.7 billion Kenya shillings to improve the geothermal plant. Geothermal is a risky, expensive venture that can work against you and sometimes ground in a kukukata. Lakini kuna vile ilikubali na kwa hivyo, in 2012, the government got more ambitious and decided to build the largest geothermal station in Kenya. So we are now going to the presidential viewpoint. Presidential? Yes, oh. because we made it <laughs> yeah. uh, when uh, President Kibaki yeah. came to commission this power plant. Okay. This is the groundbreaking ceremony for the 80 billion shilling plus geothermal power plant at Olkaria. Once complete, it will be Africa's largest geothermal power plant and the world's single largest geothermal power project. With that, the stage was set to be a powerhouse when it comes to green energy. Okay, enough with the history. I'm sure you want to see the cool stuff. You have spotted your location and now you want to dig your steam. You are about to dig one of the deepest holes in Kenya. Cheap power does not come cheap. It is very expensive to get or extract steam from the earth as you have to dig kilometers into the ground. Up and your machine is in Ingililia. So nature has helped us by digging up the rift valley which helps us get closer to the earth's core. Sasa hapo ndio tunaambiwa tukutane halfway. Hata chimba kidogo, wezi pewa kila kitu. 
So let us explore from the start the process of extracting steam from the ground. So ushafanya hizo studies zako ukaona hapa ndipo tutakapoanza ku drill well. Now bring the crew. Crew flattens the ground. Then wanajenga nyumba zao. The rig is electric and you will need huge tanks to store diesel that is used to power the generators. They consume hundreds of liters of diesel a day. Drilling also consumes a lot of water and you need these massive tanks for storage. Geothermal sites can be in remote areas that are hard to access. No matter where it may be, this trailer has to make it there ata kama ni kujenga barabara mpya. It is one of the most difficult tasks to drive this massive structure to the site. Hii kazi inahitaji ugali. There is a lot of heavy lifting and turning. It is a lot of work that can take several days. Na ini setup tu kazi bado. Finally, the rig is up. Next week, we learn how the drilling takes place and how the landscape is changing. Have you ever seen the inside of a geothermal station? Let's take a visit inside the biggest one in Olkaria. Hatuwezi toka huku kama tujaogelea. So welcome to the geothermal spa. Heated pool. And I get to swim in the biggest natural spa in Africa. <laughs>